Hello, clarinet players. We're going to talk about putting the reed on your instrument, okay? But before we do that, I'm going to have you put your instrument together. So the mouthpiece is the last thing you do. So you start with this part. Uh, actually, you can start with any part in the middle. But I like to start with this part because I'm going to make sure I have cork grease on it. You've got to have cork grease to help it go on smoothly. You don't have to put the cork crease on every single time, only when it's needed, and then it comes, it slides on really easy. If you don't use cork crease, then the cork starts to rub off, like you can kind of see here that it's starting to, because it's old, okay? And I just had these redone, too. So you just got to take really good care of them, make sure that you put lots of cork on there, cork grease. Okay, so... The middle part is really important because there's a part that has to fit together. And when you put your clarinet together, don't smash these and grip them hard because then you might actually bend a key. And then you have to take it to the shop and that's no fun because it costs money. But this one, you just rock back and forth like this. All right. And then you notice that this part here has to match up with the bottom part. So the top key this one here has to be on top of the second half of your clarinet i think of it as the bottom half so the top has to fit on top of the bottom half and it fits right together if you can see that i love this you can see clearly that it's got to be together like that all right then you put cork grease on the bottom cork so it's nice and ready to go and then you put the bell of the instrument they call it a bell because it looks like a bell and you put that on there place it there all right now the mouthpiece should be the last thing that you put on there make sure you have a mouthpiece cover and this is really easy to do but you've got to listen carefully okay your mouthpiece may have a different ligature i have a kind of a leather ligature because i really enjoy the fact that there's not a lot of pressure on this uh, reed and it can vibrate more i like that but you might have your ligature in front like this. So I'll show you how to do it with it in front just so that you understand. There's two of these knobs here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your reed out of the little pocket. It usually comes out of this like this. And uh, this one's a Rico, oh, this is a Van Doren, which is a little more expensive. But you can get a Rico. Rico's cost about $3 a piece. That's why you want to make sure you keep a cap on your on your mouthpiece when you're not playing because they can break so super easy and then you have to pay for a new one. Anyway, you take this and you suck on it for like 10 minutes. I mean 10 seconds, not 10 minutes. You suck on it and then you're on your mouthpiece, you're going to place it on the, the top of it. It's like a table. I call this a table. You put the reed down, the flat part of the reed that has Rico written on the bottom and put it right here on the mouthpiece and you've got to make sure that when you line it up you only see just a little bit of the black on top just barely some of you are putting your reeds like this either too high or too low it'll sound terrible you've got to have just a little bit of the black a little crevice of, of black on there okay so then you take your ligature and you place it on your reed on your mouthpiece and then you tighten this and the bottom one will be tightened tight the top one will be tightened just a little less than tight so it gives a chance for the reed to vibrate now for me i like to use this this beautiful ligature so i get some good vibration and i only have to deal with one screw okay but the only problem is, if you don't remember to use this, it's going to crack, right? So you place that on here and gently push it down. Be careful because if you push down too hard, the, your ligature, which is silver, will push all the way down. And then it can wreck your ligature that holds the reed on, okay? All right, that's how we place your instrument together. Now, in order to, to clean it, I would use a cleaner like this. It has a little fish weight on the bottom of it i got this at cnl music it's great it has cute little uh, pictures of 
horns all over it. I love that, violins, etc. And so what you need to do is take your instrument apart and clean each one individually, okay? I have to tell you a secret what happened to me. I got in a hurry, and I tried to, uh, in high school, try to, to slip this whole thing through the whole instrument by going like this. And by doing that, going all the way through the instrument, it got stuck. The fishing weight got stuck inside here. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little knob. Yeah, you can see it right there. And it got hooked on that. And then it broke off a piece of my uh, wood. This is not plastic. This is actually wood, grenadilla wood. So that's why that happened. So always clean it, each one individually, slowly through it. If it, if it is stuck, pull it back out gently the other direction. Never force it. If you have to force it, something's wrong, okay? All right. So I hope you enjoy playing your clarinet. I know I did. I love it. I enjoy playing every day, and I enjoy teaching you how to play the clarinet. See you next time.